Hello, welcome to another video of our MDCN series. My name is Dr. Mayam, and today we're going to be learning how to examine the peripheral pulses. But before we begin, please make sure to like the video and subscribe as this will significantly help out the channel. Today, we're going to be learning how to examine the peripheral pulses. So the systematic way to go about it is head to toe. And generally, we examine the pulses two at a time, but there are exceptions, which include the carotid pulses and the popliteal pulses. I'll explain why when we get there. So to begin the examination, we'll greet our patient. Good morning, sir. Good morning. We'll do our wiper, so we'll, we'll wash our hands. We'll introduce, take consent, position the patient, expose, screen, and be on the right side. So sir, I'm going to examine your pulses today. Can I please go ahead? Go ahead. So the first pulse to examine is the superficial temporal pulse, which will be in front of the travis of the ear. After that, we move on to the carotid pulses. And like I said, the carotid pulses, they have to be examined one at a time. The first reason why is because they have major blood supply to the head and examining both at the same time can cut off the blood supply and the patient can faint. The second rule to know when examining the carotid pulses is to know that you have to apply light pressure. Over exerting pressure there can overstimulate the carotid sinus leading to an overreactive viral receptor reflex causing reflex bradycardia and causing the patient to faint. We examine the carotid pulses by feeling medial to the sternocleidomastoid and then feeling medial to the sternocleidomastoid muscle in the other side as well. After the carotid pulses, the next pulses to examine are the subclavian arteries. So we press behind the clavicle for that. The fourth pulse is the brachial pulse and there are two places we can examine the brachial pulse. First is between the heads of the biceps and the triceps in the medial aspect of the arm. Second is in the medial aspect of the cubital fossa. We'll be using the medial aspect of the arm for this examination. Next is the radial and the ulnar pulse. To do that, we feel the lateral aspect of the forearm for the radial pulse and the medial aspect of the forearm for the ulnar pulse. Thank you. The next pulse is the femoral pulse. The femoral artery can be located two centimeters below the mid inguinal point, which is halfway between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic symphysis. Don't confuse that with the midpoint of the inguinal ligament, which is halfway between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle. So to check for the femoral pulse, we go two centimeters below in the middle of the thigh and we feel. Next is the popliteal pulse. Can you please flex? Just relax. Thank you. The popliteal pulse is another pulse that we don't feel too at the same time because we need both fingers to dig into the patient's popliteal fossa. Lastly, we move to the feet. There are two important pulses to feel in the feet. First is the posterior tibial pulse and second is the dorsalis pedis pulse. To feel the posterior tibial pulse, we merely move posterior to the medial malleolus. And lastly, for the dorsalis pedis pulse, we go lateral to the extensor hallucis longus or over the navicular bone. Thank you, sir. This brings us to the end.